Hi, I'm Sam and welcome to the SRA lab. In the shop today, we have an SMD rework station that needs to be repaired. We've tested it already and we suspect it has a bad heating element and possibly a heat tube. So we're gonna replace those and by the end, this thing will be working as good as new. Here's a quick overview of the tools you need for this job. For safety, unplug the power from the unit. Start by removing the three screws securing the heating tube. All right, we're gonna wanna take the strain relief off the cable and push up on the tube to reveal the side and we have a <laughs> broken heat tube here seems a lot of glass debris Ooh. all right so we get this in our vice To remove the heat tube, you just want to disconnect the ground wire and then you can pull it straight out. Oh. Now I'm going to clip the zip tie holding the wires together and remove it. Now, using your X-Acto knife, gonna score the heat shrink on the two heater wires. Again, you can use the needle nose to remove those. These connections are usually soldered together, so we're gonna have to desolder them with our soldering iron. Tin the tip a little bit. And take my pliers, hold the other one. Invert the heat up and pull it loose. Do the same for the next one. All we have left here is this white plastic connector on the bottom. It's a Simple, just gonna clip that. Now we're gonna get our replacement heating element. Put that in. Before I reconnect these, I like to clean the connectors out, the solder sucker. Another one. 
Okay, now we're gonna cut our heat shrink. Use the existing connectors as a guide. Cut a matching piece. Now we're going to reattach the connectors. And re-solder them. I want to be careful not to heat it too much because you don't want to close the heat shrink on the connector. Now we can slide our heat shrink back up. So I cut it a little short here. So what I'm gonna do is just take the other one and put it on the opposite side. So we have all of the metal covered, not touching. And you can use a heat gun if you have one but if not, you can use a lighter. What I'm gonna do is just get the bottom of the flame here quickly. Shrink the wires down. I'm also gonna install a new heat tube on this. Just connect that with the ground wire. All right, now the last thing we need to do is put our zip tie through these two center holes in the gun. Wires to tighten it. And cut the excess. And there you have it. And we can slide the cord retainer back on. Now we're ready to test it. Let's turn the power on. It's gonna heat up. Turn it up to 350. All right, works as it should.
Well, there you have it, how to replace a heating element in a hot air gun. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And for a list of the tools and products used in this video, please see the description. Thanks for watching.